a look at the first phrase, just the first phrase of Pop Goes the Weasel from LCM Play Darkly. You will see that we have just five pitches and that is, we can call it a major pentascale. So pentascale is the first five notes of, of a major scale. We're in the key of C, so it's the C major pentascale which will have C, D, G. And phrase one, of course, is like this, and it's played by the left hand. I'm just going to play it with the right hand. So we have got C, D, F, E, G, C, just because that's in singable range. Then we can get students to work out and sing the scale degrees. And that's where we've got one, three, two, four, three, five, three, one. And you can see here I have got five, I've got five weasels. And it's going up this way just again to show what's getting higher and what's getting lower and giving students a really clear sense and letting them sing. Singing helps our piano students tremendously. Helps them really deeply internalize the music that they play. It helps them understand how to play a phrase musically and it really helps develop their ear as well. Just being able to, without the piano signs, and then sing without the piano and pitch that accurately. Um, so this idea is that they are seeing that we're starting here. One, three, two, four, three, five, three, one. Next phrase would be one, three, two, four, three, one. Slightly different at the end, you'll notice. And then we're back to a three, a phrase three. It's this same melody as phrase one. One, three, two, four, three, five, three, one. And then of course we go six. That's our only um, sixth scale degree in the piece. But getting them to actually sing this to get scale degrees. Another way, of course, would be to sing it in solfa. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, it's do, re, mi, fa, so. But whichever way you do it, what's really important is that students are identifying uh, the shapes and the patterns by, by singing. And by singing scale degrees, they're really consciously aware of what it is they're doing. If you've got a student who is really reluctant to sing. I know we all have them. I completely understand that. Maybe get them to try whistling. And if that fails, I know I can't whistle. Um, but if they are refusing to sing, they're just not making any sound of whistling, get them a kazoo. Now, I don't have one to hand at the minute. It's a little plastic thing where they have to actually hum into it to get a sound. Like if you just if you just blow, you'll just get an air sound. But if you're going once they're doing that, they get this. It's not a very, it's not a kazoo's. <laughs> when you send them home, the parents will not thank you for <laughs> sending sending their child home with a kazoo because they really do make a very loud and slightly annoying sound. But hey, they will at least then be humming it. And they kind of feel it's not their humming voice. That they're being that, that they're exposing so if in doubt get a kazoo very very cheap um something like i don't know 50p or a pound for a kazoo you can get them easily on amazon so um yeah let's get our students singing because then they are going to be playing so much better at the piano because there's got lots they'll have lots of phrase phrasing and shaping in the music that they play and lots more understanding too so Happy singing.